Madam President, board members, Madam Superintendent, district staff, looks like they're already retired though. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, fellow attendees, Mount Diablo District, uh, school district, is on a very good track. The building of trust has been a priority and we appreciate that. We have seen some positive changes in the attitudes and beliefs that Mount Diablo is indeed a good district to educate our kids. Uh, trust from the communities, family, teachers, and staffs, and most importantly, the students, are being reflected in the upswing and light of the transition to Common Core. Common Core has rightfully so been given full, full attention to it in its implementation, development, and support. What I'm here to ask is the same being done for the master plan for English learners. The master, is the master plan for English learners a standard? There are 7,267 EL students, 6,000 who are Spanish speaking, out of 31,900 some odd students in our district. Do they have the full support of a plan that was developed by a community? We have seen growth in the English uh, Learner Services Division with the addition of a long needed director of English services, which we believe is absolutely the right person for the right job and Jeannie Duarte's. But I wonder if she as director and Carmen Garces and the rest of the L division have been given, give, been given full, complete support throughout the throughout the uh, district with all available resources. Has the master plan been met with resistance? I wonder why does it feel to us that the master plan is an excellent plan, but its implementation is fragmented? Why the lack of support? I urge you to give the master plan the staff that works hard in its implementation. Most importantly, the community. DLAC, to uh, make them feel like a part of our district and, in, and this opportunity to succeed. Give them an opportunity to succeed. DLAC, I'm proud to say, will take impressive steps towards assuring our community that they are doing everything possible to be heard and that full implementation will be achieved and I applaud them. Who will, be the, who will the district include as participants in the selection process of our new director? Will the board and the district keep that vital position. It will say a lot to our community with the direction the district will take on this issue. The board and the district have an opportunity to be an inclusive district by bringing to the selection table the community's voice, a vital voice, and a growing voice. The Yale students and their families are part of a, large, a larger voice speaking out from our district. There are 13,000 Latino, Hispanic students and families in our district. Are they being heard? The district needs to embrace and recognize and hear the voices of all groups of our district. If we do, we will achieve an even greater positive change for our district. Madam President, and Madam Superintendent, perhaps a community liaison will send the right signal to the entire district. Lastly, we profoundly thank the Director of English Services, Jeannie Duarte, for her dedication and passion for our children. She has been totally immersed in the development and the implementation of the master plan. More importantly, she has listened to us and has done all she can for our voice to be heard. We wish her the best. Muchísimas gracias, Jeannie Duarte, vaya con Dios. And thank you for your time. And I look forward to your response. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.